Hello, welcome to Lacey Walker Art. Today we're going to be exploring the difference between acrylic paint and craft paint. Now technically both of these paints are actually acrylic paints. They're both acrylic based, which means they're water soluble and you can dilute them as well as wash them off with water. That being said, there are some key differences in the formulas of both acrylic and craft paints that do make them very different paints to work with, as well as used for um, some different applications, typically. Acrylic artist paint are the ones in the tubes, the ones that I typically work with. Um, they're thicker, they have a higher pigment content, and since they're thicker, that means they have a lower water content. Um, and they're more meant to be mixed on your palette for a color palette that you're going to be created. So they typically come in a smaller range of colors. And they're typically used in kind of fine art applications. Craft paints, on the other hand, have a higher water content, so they're more watery. They have lower pigment, so you're going to need more paint to get to a true opacity if you're trying to cover an area. And one of the biggest differences is that since they're meant to be used for one-off projects, they, they come in a wide range of premixed colors so you don't have to do the mixing. Now, just because they're called craft paints doesn't mean they can't be used for fine art. Two of my favorite local artists, Kaylee Alley Art and Erin Leeper from Ethereal Icons make just beautiful works of art using craft paint. And it, they use it in fun ways where they have unique qualities. So. Let's get that out of there that you don't need to use the acrylic artist grade paint in order to make wonderful works of art. And oftentimes you might be able to save some money by buying the craft paint over the acrylic paint. If that's what you're looking to do, at least to get started. Um, so anyways, let's explore the paint a little more. So let's look at the craft paint. You can see it's kind of watery it comes out really fast and smooth whereas the acrylic paint in the tube it's more viscous and it kind of stands on its own it keeps its shape it's almost like a unwhipped egg whites versus stiff peaks if you're familiar with baking terms as you can see, the craft paint kind of spreads out, whereas the acrylic artist paint kind of stays in place. And a little more testing, um, the craft paint is not as opaque, it takes more layers. You can see that there's a little more coverage with the acrylic artist paint. And also, like if you wanted to try to make brush strokes that had um, a literal depth to them so they stood up at all you wouldn't really be able to achieve that as well with the craft paint but it still works obviously as paint So I figured the best way to test how well acrylic artist paint versus craft paint works was to do two of the exact same painting. So I'm doing a couple things here. One, I am going to, I've composed a, you know, a painting that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to actually be doing kind of a transfer method so that I make sure that I have the same basic outline for both of them so that I can ensure that the paintings are as closely done together as possible. The other is that I have picked out the equivalent colors of each of these paints to make sure that I'm trying to match this up as best I can with what I have on hand. I am going to be mixing both the craft and the acrylic paints to get colors that I want, so I'm not going to be trying to use a basic color that I'm finding in the craft paint, but that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to start with the acrylic painting the because I that's what I'm used to working with so I kind of want to get into the swing of things so that I have some practice before I start on the craft painting one to see how well it works let's go ahead and see that process
I'm going to kind of zoom through the acrylic, the artist acrylic painting process because that's something I do hear a lot on my channel and it's something I'm more familiar with. So there weren't many unexpected surprises other than I haven't painted a unicorn with mountains in the background before. And now, it's done, voila! Now let's move on to the craft paint. I went ahead and set up my palette in kind of a similar way, and I'm going to start with the sky again. While the opacity wasn't as good as what I'm used to with the thicker paint, I did notice that especially painting on paper, it filled the crevices a lot easier and was fairly easy to blend in this quick kind of ombre technique. This is that technique where I start with a darker color or sometimes the lighter color and I lay down kind of a layer of that and I do the last one kind of thick and then I do my next color kind of thick at the beginning and I try to blend them back into each other. And while I was doing this, it worked good, but I did notice the paint was drying a lot faster. In general, this paint is working pretty good and I like the colors I'm getting, but it is a lot harder to blend. The paint dries so much faster than the artist acrylic that I almost have to have an extra reserve of additional color to then kind of force the blending at different intervals. So usually I'm able to kind of work with one main color if I do it kind of thick and then bring in my second color that I'm gonna blend in and it just kind of works. But this, I kind of have to do the main color, the lighter color, and then come back in with kind of the darker color and kind of, I just have to work quickly and back and forth. So I have to actually end up using more paint than I did with the artist acrylic. I'm not unhappy with how things are turning out, but in general I am noticing that I'm not able to blend colors on the actual kind of canvas where I'm working. I have to pre-mix the colors before I put them on, and that kind of makes sense as to why craft paint would come in such a wide variety of pre-mixed colors. Also, as I'm working with this, I'm starting to notice why maybe I really like the artists that I do that use this acrylic craft paint, is they use it in really specific ways. Kaylee Alley Art does hers, and she has very deliberate brush strokes in kind of an almost impressionistic way, and she says that she has kind of like um, delightfully imperfect, or uh, how does she say it? She says something about where it's intentionally imperfect and she uses the colors just excellently so that it's okay that it's not completely blended and that it's just a brush stroke on top of another color. Um, so maybe craft paint is great for people who don't want to kind of overwork the paint on the canvas, unlike what I like to do. I suppose this would actually be a really good exercise for me in order to have to learn to be okay with the brush strokes I put on the paper or canvas and just go with it. Other than the it drying much faster than the acrylic artist paint, it works pretty much the same. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this painting and then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so they're both done, and overall, I think they both look pretty good. There are some differences, so let's go into a little bit of the comparison. Okay, so this is the Artist Acrylic, and I did notice I was able to get better blending, some more fine details, a little better brushwork on certain areas. But compared to the Craft Acrylic here, um, they're fairly similar products, especially since I have very little experience actually painting with craft paint. I think this was a pretty good test to show that they work about the same. 
the most noticeable difference is kind of muted colors and the shininess that I'm trying to show you here. The acrylic artist paint had a way more of a gloss finish, whereas the craft paint had more of a uh, matte finish. Now, as far as cost, if you're just getting into painting, it would probably be cheaper to go buy some craft uh, paint tubes, but I do think in the long run it would actually end up costing you more to continue using the craft paint over the acrylic. The acrylic actually stretched a lot further, and so even though it has a higher initial price point, if you're going to be using this long term, I would consider investing in some acrylic uh, if you're doing it just on a cost purpose. If you want to do fine details, I would also think about the acrylic, but if you really like the look of brush strokes, then I would go for the, cra the craft paint, um, things that aren't overly blended. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like more videos like this, please subscribe.